Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Keller. I want to take this opportunity to share with you some information about how the human temporal mandibular joint or jaw joint works so that you can have a better opportunity to make some good decisions about your future health care. A balance exists between how the teeth fit together, how the human jaw joint works, how the muscles that move and the muscles that support that joint all have to function. I want to share with you some information so that you can better understand why this is such a unique joint. This is the only joint in the body that is not a normal weight-bearing joint. Most of the time it has a negative pressure to it. As it hangs from these muscles, there's really not much loading that's going on in this joint. If we look at the anatomy of this joint, we can get a better idea of how this joint has to function. You'll notice that the back of the cartilage is thicker than the central region. That back portion, which is actually tied into the ligaments to help hold this cartilage in place, serves as a biomechanical lock to help hold the cartilage in place as the ball moves within the socket. Here you see an example of the joint opening and closing. Please notice that thick back region of the cartilage. That biomechanical lock is important because that's really what helps keep this cartilage in its proper place. In a normal healthy joint, the ball is always pushing forward against the socket itself. I'm now going to show you a joint that's dislocated. You'll see that the cartilage stays between the ball and the socket. Then as the ball starts to move back up in the socket, all of a sudden it goes too far back and it pushes the cartilage out of place. That's when this joint has become dislocated. But if we stop that ball from going so far back in the socket, we could actually keep that cartilage from becoming dislocated. And that's what we want to try to do with conservative therapy. Stop the breakdown and give this joint a chance to heal.